We're at war today with the Trump administration and Trumpism and Betsy DeVos and the Koch brothers. We need a wartime governor, CTA. You need someone to step up, to have your back, and to lead us through this moment. So what I love about the CTA is you're on the intersection, not just of, you know, organization and organizing, but public policy, political activism, supporting increasing public investment in our public education system. That should be universally embraced in building capacity, building partnerships, building a sense of community. You need a governor that champions public educators and public education. We've got to deal with the teacher shortage. We've got to deal with funding. You know, we're in the bottom 10 uh, per pupil investment. We've got to get to the top 10. And we need pushback against privateers and folks like Betsy DeVos that have a very different view and voucherize our system and, and privatize it. We've got to get rid of for-profit charter schools. They have no place in this state, in this country. We have charter management organizations that do not that are not subject to the same transparency and accountability provisions of all other public dollars. That needs to change. There's a lot of self-dealing. There's a lot of mismanagement. Sanctuary policy is about keeping people safe, educated, and healthy. And that's why I embrace it. It's about keeping communities safe. The idea that sanctuary policy is a shield for criminal activity is false. Sanctuary counties, according to the Center for American Progress, are safer the non-sanctuary counties, because they build trust with the community. If you're a victim of crime, you're a witness of crime, you're more likely to cooperate with law enforcement if you are not concerned they're an arm of the Trump deportation force. We passed some of the most comprehensive gun safety measures in America. Between 1993 and 2014, our gun murder rate dropped 67 percent, significantly because of our gun safety measures. In January of 2019, we will become the first state in American history to require the exact same background checks we do on guns for all ammunition purchases. We think this is a game changer in the gun safety debate. Thank you for supporting that effort and supporting that cause. And don't even get me started about arming teachers. The intimidation that is alive and well in our politics today. It's all related on the Janus decision coming down the pipe, the right to work legislative efforts, the stacking of our federal courts with anti-labor uh, judges. It's a profoundly important moment for organized labor, for union efforts. And we're going to have to double down to make our case again why unions matter, why unions play an outsized role in addressing the issue of bullying, addressing the issue of public funding to our educators, addressing the issue of poverty. All of these areas, unions are the antidote to the fear and the anxiety that exists and persists in this country. And we've got to make that case anew. And I say that not just as a candidate for governor, I say that as a father of four kids. Because without you, there is no counterbalance to concentrated wealth. And the issue that defines all their issues is income and wealth inequality. And when we're in a state of 8 million in poverty, 46% of our kids at or near poverty, when you look at the supplemental poverty index, that's not sustainable. I say this to my business friends. Businesses as well cannot thrive in a world that's failing. We're at a point, it's not us versus them anymore. We rise and fall together. And so we've got to reconcile that. Again, the bullying is a symptom of that, but the cause is so much deeper. It's systemic and it goes deep into a society that is struggling to reconcile the nature and change of an economy, technology, and globalization. And that sort of captures the spirit of this moment. And that spirit is alive and well in the California Teachers Association. This is not a time for timidity. It's a time for bold leadership. It's time for authenticity. It's time to shape the debate. Yes, we will struggle through and work through Janice. Yes, we will survive the Trump years, but let us not just survive them, let's thrive, let's organize, let's make the case again anew for what unions represent, working families, working people, the values we hold dear. You're the reason we have a middle class. 
You're the antidote to the fear. You're the antidote to the cynicism out there. You are the solution to the issues of income inequality and wealth disparity and social mobility. You literally are on the leading and cutting edge of that advancement and that revolution. I look forward to working with each and every one of you. You have my back. I will have your back for the next four and eight years. Thank you, CTA.